Hello friends, I'm Olivia. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. Last time, we finished Cyrus's fourth chapter. And I know I said I was going to go back to fight that, um, secret boss guy thing, but I haven't figured out quite how I'm going to defeat him yet. So in the meantime, I thought we would go do Tressa's chapter. Um, so for Tressa, we need to go up to Grandport. The closest place is Golden Shore. travel and then we will make our way up to Grandpa. Do I want to take Cyrus with me though? Not really. That's the tavern. There's the oh look, there's an item there. Okay. Oh, you. I very much want to discover new worlds, and yet I simply cannot motivate myself to leave home. If only someone could give me the gentle nudge I need to set forth into the great unknown. Primrose. She needs to level. She needs that. Um, that will help her. As much protection as possible. Should you ever be in need of an extra swordsman, I stand at the ready. Thank you, Albrecht. Let's, um. Knowledgeable traveler. The highway is easy to walk, that's for sure. But that's not all you need in a road sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to get off the beaten path and have a bit of a stroll somewhere other than the highway. There's a pirate ship down there. Open for business! 
Out of my way. Let's see. What next? Here I go. Well then. Make this quick. Yeah. Everything is broken. Well then. I'll not be defeated. Night Ode, bring your shame. I hope I've grown more able. Now, let us hunt him. Out of my way. Come in, if thou do. There we go. Well then, here I go! Night Ode, bring your shame! What to do? Time to close up shop. West 
Grand Port Coast. Treasure found me some money. Oh, hi, Uncle. Oh, a fine day to you. Best selling author. I'm a wandering writer. I travel the world writing my books as I flit from place to place. I just put out a new volume, in fact. Perhaps you have heard of it. The Ancient Capitals, I called it. It's done rather well for itself. And even after I had to cut so much material from it. Oh, the things I know I could fill several volumes. Not just that poultry one. Maybe I should have brightened Cyrus. I could have, um, inquired. There is no choice. Out of my way. Let's see. What next? By a thousand. The winds of fortune are howling. My turn now. Night Ode, bring your shade. Let's do this. And again, the winds of fortune are howling. <laughs> One more analysis. Well then. There. What next? As impressive as I want it to be. I'm ready. Are you? And that's that. Oh my god. Oh, gold. Money, thank you very much. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. My turn. These ones look like that's gonna hurt. But we'll see. Let's see. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's do this! Letting my arrow fly and true. Lightning done my bidding. My turn now. Fly and true. Lightning done my beating. Ophelia will need to heal this time. <laughs> Shot. And that's 
that's that. It wasn't too bad after all. West Gold Shore Coast. So let's come here. I'll make this quick. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Letting the hunt begin it. If thou darest. Out of my way. Here I go. Fun. Nicely done. And that's that. Come on, I've got better things to do. Letting the hunt begin it. I will cut him down. Out of my way. Let's see. Okay. 
Try and this. Got better things to do. My turn. Oh, there we go. I will battle. That's right, I had business here. You arrive in Grandport, which is abuzz with excitement over the auction. It is here you finally realize your true treasure is. The story so far. In Victor's Hollow, Tressa reunited with Captain Leon... Bastrelli? He spoke of a dear friend from his pirating days, and he told her of the Eldrite, the man's most precious treasure. Tressa ventured out and recovered it, but Leon refused the gift, for he already found his most precious treasure. His friend's old ship and a new life as a merchant. There's only room in one's heart for one true treasure. So what's hers? Tressa realized she still had no answer. Undeterred, she made way for Grandport, the Eldrite in hand. And so she arrived at the Merchant's Fair. Whoa! I 
can't believe it. I'm finally here. Yeah! I hope you're ready for me, Merchant's Fair. This is incredible. There are merchants and treasures from all over the world here. That must be where they hold the auction. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they have to sell. Hey. Look, it's Mr. Wyndham. Oh. Wyndham? Like the incredibly wealthy aristocrat? Die. One of the second myths. Oh. Rumor has it he's got enough money to buy himself a small country. Supposedly he invests quite a sum into the fair too. This is an honor. Welcome, Mr. Wyndham. Only the rarest and most beautiful treasures have been gathered here. I'm certain you'll find something to your daughter's liking. Indeed. I expect so. I'll spend what I must to see her happy. The highlights of the fair is a competition. Merchants show off their finest pieces to Mr. Wyndham. Uh huh. And he picks only the very best one to give to his daughter. The reward is one billion leaves. What? One b billion? Aye. They say he invests in the fair just so he can hold the competition. I guess all that money will touch your noggin eventually. I don't get it. <laughs> At least his daughter is happy. Mm. Though it does make me wonder how he chooses a winner. Curious. With the Eldrite, will the Eldrite do the trick? If I prove myself here, I know this journey wasn't for nothing. All right. I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> I'll go sneak a peek at the competition. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. But please don't worry yourself. I can walk on my own two feet. Uh, okay. If you say so. Ah! Hmm, maybe not so much. Are you sure you're okay? Here, have some water. Thank you so much for your kindness. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. I'm Tressa, by the way. I'm a traveling merchant. A traveler. I'm Noah. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Tressa. You don't have to be so formal. Tressa works just fine. I... I see. Tressa. See? That's not so hard. How are you feeling, by the way? Better, thank you. 
Did you sneak out of home? Just a bit farther. My legs have always been weak, you see, so I never stray too far from home. I see. Aww. That I've always longed to see the world. I just know there are countless wonderful things out there waiting to be discovered. This girl reminds me of me. But the rest of the world was always out of reach. Eventually, I realized that my dream would forever be just a dream. I came here by sheer willpower alone. I hoped I'd find something to help make my dreams come true. Something Precious. I treasure forever. Treasure? Oh! My lady, there you are. She did sneak out. <gasps> lady? Gil! I'm sorry I worried you, Gil. And who is this young woman? Tressa. Her name is Tressa. She lent me her aid. Oh. My word, Miss Tressa, you have my deepest gratitude. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil, and I am in the service of the Wind Wyndham family. What? The Wyndham family. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to repay you for your kind deed, but I'm afraid we must be on our way. Let us make from the auction hall, my lady. Thank you so much! Of course, Gil. Thank you again, Tressa. Take care! I'm just glad you're alright. See you around, Noah. daughter of Mr. Wyndham, which means she is who this whole competition is for. We found money. May the sacred flame shine upon you. May the flame shine forth upon her. Ophelia, are you praying for Noah? I am. I do not think our meeting was happenstance. Fate played its hand. I want her to know happiness. It took a lot of courage for her to come this far. It just goes to show that money doesn't solve everything. Indeed, we have our own troubles and cares. And things we treasure. Yes. I can't say I know exactly what Noah is searching for, but I sure hope she finds it. As do I. Um. People around these parts don't seem to care much for my wares. What you got? That. And I'll take that. And I'll take that. I appreciate it, though I was hoping for real customers, not other merchants. I could have stolen it from you. The merchant that sells the travel journals? That merchant there sells the jour- there. 
the words are hard today. That merchant there sells the travel journals of many great adventurers. They even write of setting foot onto unknown lands that no man has ever visited. Welcome. I mostly deal in weapons, swords, spears, shields. My place can barely store all of them. Might I interest you in something, Traveller? A book to keep you entertained on the road, perhaps? My books will lend you, lead you to the... My books will lead you to undiscovered treasures of the world. Tales from a faraway land. Thank you. Oh, maybe, maybe I give this book to that guy on the bridge in, um... Gold shop? And maybe that gets him to go on his adventure. Welcome! I specialize in minerals and rare stones. Could I interest you in any of my wares? Thank you! Oh. I will go to the inn. to board, if not, stay out of the way of the crew. A good day to you. Welcome to Grandport, the largest port in the coastline. <laughs> Anything you might want from all corners of the world can be found here at this training post. Ever heard of the Merchant's Fair? Why, sir, that just so happens to be why we're here. No. Yes? Sure. Introduction to adventure. Maybe that's the book I need to give the boy on the bridge. Oh Did you hear about that relic that was found around? Did you hear about that relic? What was found here in town? It's a sword. They're saying it belonged to that old night chappy, you know. Sokra? I so rarely see anyone else these days. Oh. I want in. Let's try. I haven't saved recently. I would like to save though.
Hmm. Provoke. Yes. Defeating beasts is no lucrative feat, but I cannot sit idly by. Now, let us hunt him. Let the hunt begin. It. Convenient. Sorcery. Unknown oh, poison. Such a high difficulty rating. Oh, hello there. Did you need her thing? People so rarely come in here. trade and yet you seem not covertious always looking for a bargain how do you do stop by the tavern wanderer we boast a vast collection of drink from around the world Well, there's a flourishing outdoor market up ahead. You can find a great many treasures there. Okay, uh, oh, it's there's so many people to talk to. This place is like a dream come true. There's treasure as far as the eye can see. I mean, have you seen this weaving? Such detail, such splendid designs. And this vase, simple yet elegant, with a shimmering glaze. Oh, and a price to match. Look here, a landscape by a renowned artist, Master Bonito. This can't be an original. Or can it? Uh, Hanet, you're awfully quiet. It's something the matter. Forgive me. But I find you thy zeal of the greater facet. I, but I find thy zeal of greater fascination than the trinkets themselves. Trinket. Taking it all in. You bet I am. 
it's a thief's dream. All these lavish wares just sitting here for the taking. I know! It's like my aunt stop, can't stop moving from one thing to the next. Precious coral, giant pearls and sapphires, ornate metal filigree showing the touch of a master's hand. And those ceramics! It's not like every day you see such pristine craftsmanship. You mean those cups and bowls? How valuable can they be? Well, they're made of the finest white porcelain. Very rare, very costly. Huh, you know your stuff. As do you when it comes to jewelry, at least. A thief who can't tell copper from gold from copper won't last long in the profession. When you put it that way, I guess our trades aren't so different after all. Indeed, seems we have far more, more in common than we thought. Sure. Alright. Let's save. And we'll leave it here for now. So, once again, I am Olivia, and this is Octopath Traveler. And until next time, have a safe journey.